Potatoes are coming, cilantro. Can't believe that's surviving, it's cold. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to my backyard garden. I kind of want to show you guys a different approach to a recipe. I'll get into the recipe here in just a minute. I wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been doing. This is, um, you know, kind of my pet project that I put together the last, I'd say, year and a half. And it's all from seed for the most part. This broccoli, this was from a plant that we bought and maybe the kale, but everything else, I'm really trying to start from seed and just kind of figure out the growth cycles and just look at the ingredient a little bit differently, learn about it, and uh, kind of, I want to show you guys that too and um, kind of go through that process a little bit. But today I want to show you guys this broccoli just because it's kind of incredible right now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten florets going on, and they're all about the flower, except for maybe this one and this one. And I gotta pick it, otherwise it's just gonna go to waste. It's actually prime for soup right now, just because the stock is so thick and beautiful, and uh, it's really good to kind of puree and cook for a long time and kind of do that uh, braising process a little bit by making the soup and the florets will be a good nice garnish. And the leaves, funny enough, I'll feed most of these leaves to my chickens, and they're perfect because the chickens just go crazy for it. <laughs> and I think it's pretty good for them, so. This is actually gonna be a really good little harvest. <laughs> Rachel, my wife, is gonna be very happy with this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna leave any, because everything's just gonna go straight to flowering. And that's not a bad thing, but I don't know, I don't quite know how to propagate broccoli yet. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this inside and we're gonna make some broccoli cheese soup. All right, so for a broccoli cheese soup, I mean, it, it basically starts out with a roux. Um, which is butter and flour, but I'm gonna add some onion and um, kind of start it out like that. Actually, get my stove on. butter melted. You want a good amount of butter because that's what's going to start the roux and the, eventually that's just going to thicken everything up. Um, for this one particularly I'm actually going to puree some of the like half the soup just to get a nice smooth texture but keep the other half nice and chunky. All right, normally I wouldn't put this much onion in um, a roux but since it's a soup I like this. The amount of onion gives it a good good flavor, nice sweetness. flour. Just a little bit at a time so it doesn't clump up. Like it will clump up a little bit to begin with but if you add it all it's just going to be turned into one big kind of clumpy mess. All right, that should be good. I'm going to cook that starch out to get rid of that kind of that gummy flavor. I don't know, you don't want it to taste like flour. You want it to thicken up. All right, that should be good. Turn this down just a little bit and then add the, the milk. And eventually, once you kind of incorporate that beginning portion, and it gets to become, you know, not lumpy, but almost creamy, then you can kind of add the rest of the milk. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add some cardamom. Normally, folks will add like cloves or cinnamon or something like that sometimes to the base of the broccoli soup. And it just kind of adds like this spicy flair, um, gives it a, just a little kind of an interesting flavor to the broccoli soup. Ooh, that's fine, just 
just a couple of crushed peppercorns. So just with a pot or a pan, let's move this out of the way so you can see. And I'm just gonna throw that stuff in there just like that with the husk and everything. Cause it'll soften down, plus I'm gonna puree it a bit. And it's just gonna, like it already smells delicious. Mm. All right, so now it's time for the broccoli. I'm gonna break it down a little bit. Get the leaves off. You know, I can't really use the leaves other than feeding chickens or, I mean, maybe you could. But I'm just gonna break these down, take the floor, the florets off the top for like a little extra garnish towards the end. And then I'm gonna use the stock, this main stock as the, uh, the body for the soup. And then this little, it's almost like asparagus at this point where like the little bottom piece is still kind of woody. It's like the most woody part <laughs> of the stock. It's, really, it's actually kind of hard to cut, yeah. So, you get rid of that. This is, the majority of this is gonna be pretty hard. That's why you're gonna make soup from it. Um, but I'm gonna cut most of it into chunks. And these florets, I'm actually gonna keep, I'm gonna cut them up a little bit so I'll add them later in during the cooking process because if you add them right now, they just kind of fall apart. So you kind of want to just keep that integrity towards the end if you can. Stir that together and this will cook for like quite a while. I don't know, I'd say 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes to get them all soft and then I'll puree this and then I'll add the florets towards the very end so it'll look like a beautiful, nice green, fresh broccoli cheese soup. All right, so this has been cooking for, I don't know, about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Everything's pretty much tenderized and it's gonna go right in here as carefully as I can. Oop, I knew I was gonna do that. soup. That's the base. Broccoli soup's done. Now I'm going to do this little um, Kind of like a little thick sliced crostini, like a thick sliced bread with some sharp cheddar cheese right on top. And I'm gonna toast this in my broiler. One second. All right, it's gonna go in the broiler. And I'm gonna plate this. I want some of that fresh broccoli. Fill it up about halfway. Nice little toasty piece of cheesy bread. A little bit of fresh cheese on the side. <clears throat> so this is good to go. Let me turn this off. Let me dive in and uh, run through some of the flavors because this looks really good. Um, so right away, I kind of love the, uh, the fresh, I've talked about this a few times, that kind of freshness. Very vibrant green. You know, I grew the broccoli, so I know where that came from. That's always a nice little treat. And, uh, you know, making it from scratch is great, especially because you can adjust it how you like um, from start to finish. But uh, let me dive in and kind of see what's going on here. So, of course, I'm going to use this as like my little 
vehicle for deliciousness. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Really nice balance of flavors. Just the right amount of cheesiness. Not too salty. Really good broccoli flavor. Stellar. Mm. This is such a good idea to have just something on the side, you know. This would even be really, really good as a bread bowl, obviously. If you had like a nice big toasted bread bowl, that'd be amazing. But all in all, this turned out great. Super simple recipe, not too many ingredients. You know, a couple little flares here and there. Learning how to make the roux and all that good stuff. Being able to grow your ingredients and kind of figure out, you know, the different stages of the flavors uh, that go on through that process. And, uh, you know, buying it from the store versus growing it is always an interesting comparison, especially as a chef or a culinarian who really cares about that type of stuff. It, it's very interesting to know where your food comes from. And if you can grow it, that's also really cool. But this turned out great. Very fantastic recipe, really fun to make. And uh, there's a lot of different applications for this. You could definitely use this um, almost like a chowder in different recipes if you want to add like shredded chicken or um, you know things like that. So lots of ideas with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Make sure you check the description below for um, ingredient list and equipment list, things like that. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks. Mm -hmm.